Hi guys, so here it is, you know, the ZT from my knife life video. Uh, I've already reground this, um, and honestly, I'm not quite happy with it. I mean, the grind's fine, but it's really the overall proportion of the knife that's really where I'm having issues with, which is kind of why I've talked about the, with the knife life when I'm pointing all that out. You know, it's, it's much, much thinner. Um, let's see, this thing is like... You know, 15th out behind the edge before putting, you know, and, you know, bevel on there. So, yes, I can technically throw an edge on there and throw it back in rotation, and it's another working knife. Yippee. But I'm not quite happy with it, mainly just because of this. You know, if you look at it through here, you know, the tip is, you know, poking through, so I can definitely, you know, take the spine down so the tip goes down. Well, what happens then? Oh, I lose more cutting edge. Oh, my blade's a little shorter again. And I still got this half an inch of dead space. That's not doing anything. So what can I do? Oh, I can totally just cut off the handle. And as you can see, I haven't done that, which means, yeah, you know, I'm not going to do it. Because I actually like the proportion of the, you know, the original size. Because I think it's a nice size knife. So instead, you know, after uh, a little bit of shop upgrade lately, I've decided to do a reblade. This is a uh, crew wear. Uh, it's about uh, 3 16th inch thick. Or actually, this is the, the stock is actually a quarter inch thick, but I'm gonna, uh, you know, surface grind it down thinner so it matches it better. Um, right now, as it stands, this is just kind of a, you know, it's an, the fit up is okay. You know, I'm, I'm not going for, you know, the perfect fit for now, it's very, especially pre heat treat. Uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna walk it on a lot closer, you know, because you see if there's still plenty of lock bar for me to kind of, you know, cut into a lock. Um, you know, I haven't even surface grind this thing down. But when we look at enclosed position, yeah, check that out. It's like the factory length. You know, you just got that little bit of a linear post there for you to, you know, that's dead space, which is perfectly fine. I uh, left a little extra height there over my scribe line because I knew that this thing has been so over sharpened, I can't trust this, you know, actual edge. So I gave myself a little extra, you know, it's a little screw up room. You know, so you can see where I actually sharpened in and I even exaggerated my scribe line. And then I still left a little extra, you know, material there. And by the end of the day, it's like, yeah, you know, if you put your thumb there, unless you're, you're sinking your thumb into this, you're not really going to cut yourself on the edge. So that's plenty. And you know, once again, that's, you know, more blade height. I can get this grind a little bit thinner, uh, especially if I hollow grind it, and the proportion will still stay nice. You know. Wow, this is a more complicated way of, uh, of addressing it, but I think this is a... It's a much... It's a cleaner, uh, definitely more ambitious approach to resolving what I was saying earlier. And thing is, you know, most people aren't able going to be able to do this because you guys don't have the equipment to... Do a reblade. So let's see where we go from here. Okay, so here is post heat treat, post surface grind, and post fit up. Uh, it's you know so now it's really the only thing left here is to just grind the bevels. Um, yes, I got the detent, everything set. Got the lock up set. Got most of the, the forge stuff cleaned up. Nice early lockup. Uh, let's see if I got a so it wouldn't block. All right, lock is safe. So let's travel a little later, like it's supposed to. And after that it is restored. Excellent. Uh, decided to keep pretty much the the original profile for now, but as I'm grinding it, I may or may not changed the blade shape uh, I, I'm really glad I did go to, for a different jimping style because yeah that's that's very very positive really locks it in um, so I think it's gonna be pretty sweet the trickiest part of the whole, this whole thing really was just to make sure this stay centered uh, but this is pretty exciting um, all right see you post grind all right here we are at the Final assemble product. So as you can see from, you know, the close position here, the blade does not look quite like what we went in with. Uh, so 
midway through the grind, I want to say midway, I was pretty much almost done because I got this blade shape and everything profiled and swedged and it was really good to go. And I was just looking at it and I, I thought it was, it looked too boring. So I thought I want to have a little more fun with it. So I ended up just kind of, you know, changing all the lines and made the swedge way more aggressive by pulling it way back. And funny enough, this is looking like the other ZT regrinds, uh, the 620 regrinds that I've done. I think like on the my slip uh, lock slip video. And I really, I, I adore this profile because I love fighters. I, I think some of the, the coolest looking knives are fighters. I just the aggressive lines. And this one just kind of, I think this one came out quite nice. Uh, you know, obviously double hollow grinds uh, for the swedge and the bevels. Uh, well, let's see in terms of the, the blade length here. Actually, I never did even try to uh, do the, uh, the initial one here. So we're pretty dang close. Right about there. So I got about like a little more than a quarter of an inch of extra blade that came out. Oop, bumped the camera. And then in the close, you know, we're just a hair short from, you know, really dropping that tip to get that aggressive line. So I think I lost like uh, maybe eight, sixteenth to an eighth of an inch on the tip, which is not a big deal because this uh, blade is still coming out at, what, three and a half inch, which is plenty. Actually, I think this is almost closer in spec to the original blade length. Uh, but something on the when I first did my blank, it was a hair longer. And then in terms of let's see what the thickness looking like, because it was a it was a chunky boy, you know, at fifty thou. So back at the heels at nineteen. Oop. Yep, nineteen. Back at the heel. Here is a sixteen, and I know as we move into the belly, it gets a little thinner. It's an eight. And then right here, it's I start thickening it back to 10. And of course, the, the tip I leave a little thick. Um, just because this has got a very fine tip already. So it's at 29. It has uh, quite a fine tip to begin with. Uh, so I really don't want to take down any more robust robustness. Robustness. English is hard. And I think that... Uh, that should do pretty good. So I'm not like, you know, that 30,000 the tip is not that big of a deal. Because I've done the, some, there were like 5,000 the tip and just stabbing into the wood would bend the tip. Um, so this, this should be a pretty, pretty good using knife going forward. So I'm going to be throwing this into my rotation. So it's kind of just a personal project for myself. Um, and also because I want to test out crew wear. This is my first time actually, um, you know, working with crew wear. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, I do like how this thing came out. I do apologize for not really including the uh, the mid the process videos that like I usually do, but I thought it would kind of cut down on the time of the video with a little bit less of that footage because there's like thousands of grinding videos on YouTube already or thousands of profiling videos. I'm not sure how captivating is that to even watch. So let me know what you guys think on that. And let me know what you think about this, you know, blade profile that I've done for this reblade. You know, is, you know, here's kind of the original. I mean, may or may not finish regrinding this or something. Because it's only partially done and I just wasn't liking it. But, you know, if I do decide to let this knife go in the future, I, I will be including this blade in. Because in a funny way, this blade has become its COA. <laughs> To prove that it was a ZT at some point, because these days you never know, you know what will be a clone. And um, so, but yeah, here we are, uh, end of this project. Um, I'm probably gonna just mark it and uh, just roll with it. All right, and thank you for watching this. Uh, you guys, you guys have a great day, and until next time, bye now.